yeah it's me Donna I'm back again if you're new to my channel welcome if you're somebody who's been here before and come back welcome to you thank you for coming back today it's a bank holiday Monday and I thought I would do a clothing try on haul video but then I thought well, you know what I'll do a little get rid of with me sort of video um yeah I want to show you my new stuff but um when I looked on YouTube it's not new it's been out 100 years but I've only just discovered it um years ago I went to Boots and got colour matched and the colour match wasn't very good at all so um, it was too pale so I went again a few weeks ago and I got colour matched and I got colour matched with this colour which is birch but it's faded off already it was birch um, I know that because I've got another one up there that I haven't used yet so I've been using this right but she also recommended this airbrush away pore minimizer primer right um, I've never used a primer before I, like, I think I've been living in a cave because this stuff's been out for years and because um, I normally use this, this stuff but I just thought you know I'm getting on a bit sort of thing maybe I need to change my colour maybe that's not quite the right shade so you can see slight shade difference but yeah so she recommended this I think it was £18 it was a three for two so I ended up buying two of them and that and then the next day I went back and bought um some brushes got a proper brush look I've actually got a proper brush which I can't figure out it is clean I've cleaned it I, I can't figure out how to use it I mean I didn't have my glasses on when she did it and I, I didn't have no makeup on I just had like mascara and stuff so I didn't have no foundation on and my red nose was proper red for some reason like I think it was like giving her a little challenge and when she did it right it looked quite good but like, I didn't have my glasses on or anything so it could have looked really bad to be fair but it covered the redness so I thought I'll buy one of these so the next day I went to the boots in Longbridge because I, I got these from Mary Hill and I'll buy a proper brush so um, I've ended up with these brushes again like it says because it was on the offer I ended up with some more brushes um, and I can't use them when I use them, it's like, you know, when you paint and you get streaks, I ended up with streaks on my face. So I've ended up still using my sponge, damping my sponge, Poundland. And um, I can't figure out how to use this primer stuff as well. So I watched a video yesterday because she didn't use this. I'm sure she didn't. She just recommended it afterwards. And the woman uh, on the video was in boots and she put it on with her fingers on this woman she was demonstrating on. So, um try it again because I says I've tried it once and um it feels really what's that I've got a bit of nail varnish on there um it feels really silky and really nice but maybe I didn't give it chance to settle so I'm gonna try a bit now so look it's like um not greasy like silicone it reminds me of um the stuff you put around the bath but um I put it on my nose because I'm going look at my nose look at the large pores I've been using retinol um, and alizetic acid on my face to get rid of the um, the pores and the loins and the dark marks and then um, yeah it don't work so uh, it looks like I'm just gonna have to try and cover and see I look it's gone on really my face feels so soft I've only put a bit on an eye but that's the only bit that uh, there and my chin where the large pores are so if I put it on there see it goes in so I mean you can't feel my face but it feels really really soft I'm going to leave it to dry a little bit longer that says I'm impatient and I just want stuff done straight away so I know my mistake before when I was trying this was putting it on and then trying to put the uh, foundation on straight away afterwards and it just wouldn't stick so I'm going to water this down because I did watch another video where the girl was showing how to put foundation on properly and um, she just put a little bit on, a little bit, in fairness I only put a tiny bit of um, foundation on but yeah you're, that's, I was sort of right you're only supposed to put a little bit on but I want my uh, redness covered but when I try and put it on it gets all patchy or it just I put it on and it just comes back off it's like that Vasper paint if you've ever used Vasper paint it's rubbish 
Boots used to have Dulux paint and then we went and we wanted the colour meats and they give us Vespa paint and you roll it on and as you roll it down it comes back off so um, that's what I'm going to try and avoid doing now. so I'm going to try my new brush and my Poundland sponge so I'm going to let this settle a bit it's not a tutorial if you're thinking this is a tutorial it's not but um, yeah one sec we'll give it, I'll be back in about five minutes so I've got this on which is airbrush away pore minimizer minimizes the appearance of pores instantly airbrushing effect prolongs wear of makeup so that's what i've got on there and i'm about to put on this which is number seven protect and perfect intense advanced all-in-one foundation fights the signs of aging minimum coverage spf 50 so uh, this is what I'm about to try. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> um, I'm thinking, shall I put my contact lenses in so I can see what I'm doing? I mean, I've got, I have got the magnifying mirror there. But you can see the red veins on my nose, can't you? You should be able to because I, I can see them and I ain't got my glasses on. So that's what I want to cover. The redness on my nose and the large pores. So this is an all-in-one, so it better bloody work. Like I said, I have been using it for a couple of weeks, but I've literally been only putting a little tiny bit on, and like I said, I couldn't figure out how to use it with that. So uh, that feels like it's dried in now. So I'm going to try with my um, super-duper brush, look. Little stubby bit. See uh, if I can do it. I'll give it a good shake. Put some on my hand. Right. So right, hang on then. The girl said in the shop as well, if you use a brush, you use less product. And I'm like, I'm not fussed about that. I just want the coverage. <laughs> you know, if I go through two, two of them, and my nose is covered, I'll be happy. Right, especially if it's two for free as well. It's not as bad. So let's have a go. Can you see? Um, I'm just going to blob it on. See, it looks really pale, doesn't it? It looks too much. See, this is what I, I don't get, brushes. Try and brush it in. That looks awful. Look at it. I think it's the primer. I can't, I can't tell if it's the primer or the brush. It looks like, well, right, let's try my sponge. I think I might need to dampen it again. It's dried out now. I'm gone. And the sponge is taking it all off. Took it all off, innit? It's all gone. Let's try again. Put a bit more on. <sighs> Can you see it? I'm convinced it's this primer stuff. It's all patchy and it, oh my god no it's blending in a bit now i just don't think i'm gonna find uh, anything to cover my nose that's better it's, well it's disappearing is it just me or does anybody else have this i mean that looks a bit better it's it's as if it all the dry patches seem to be highlighted. Does it cover my pores? I don't, I don't know. Let's try some more. This is damp. Um, 
Am I not the only person in the world who can't figure out how to put foundation on? I used to just use my fingers. That's not a lot of foundation and that looks bloody awful. I suppose if I step, if I go back, it don't look too bad there, does it? See, where I've been using it is, I'll show you, I've been trying to avoid my nose because of this. I think that looks horrible. This is where I've been using it, just here. And look, I'll show you, look at the difference the way it goes on. Yeah. Goes on and you can't see it, look. And you can still see me brown patches, obviously, like, you know. Um, but I don't understand why on everywhere else but the place where I want it to work. This is normally just where I use my foundation to just try and make my skin look a bit better. Yeah, look. Why does my nose look all crusty? It does, doesn't it? I'm doing a close up for you. Try a bit more. You can dive, put more on. Mm. Let's try the brush. Wonder if it dab in it. Look. I don't understand. When I watch these other people put on the foundation, it goes on lovely and the skin looks flawless. And I put it on and it, it just looks all crusty on the bit that I don't want to look crusty. And yet, here, look, look you see it on my head and it blends in lovely. Look, you don't even see it. Oh, apart from that bit, hang on. Look, all pill in there. Rub it in. So what's going on with my nose? Why won't my nose cover? No matter what foundation I use, I get the crusty look. And yet it's not dry. If anything, it's greasy. But foundation just doesn't sit right. You can see it's foundation and I don't like the foundation look. I like the non-foundation look. Um, and I want the me redness covered. Was it so crusty? I'm, I'm going to use my finger. Why? Can you see it? I'm not as drain am I? Look, look at my nose. Look at the rest of the face with the foundation on. It's literally, you can't even see it, look. Cannot see it. And then the nose. Even far away, I can see it. It doesn't sit right, look. So what am I doing wrong? If you know what I'm doing wrong, could you let me know in the comments? Because I'm getting really pissed off with this. I'm 51 years old and still can't figure out how to cover my nose. It just looks ridiculous. I mean, it's not as if you can hold your nose, is it? Like, you know, I think that's the only thing, the best thing about um, the masks. It sort of covered a bit of your nose, didn't it? It just looks awful. I'm trying to think how I can describe it. It looks like dried up paint. You know when you get paint and it's all dried up 
it reminds me of that look and it actually looks worse with this stuff I'm just going to end up rubbing it off and starting again so uh, yeah I'm going to uh, rub it off and start again because I'm not happy can you see it? I'll be back in a minute while well, I'm in the morning mood right <laughs> I'm just going to mention this as well that I also bought um 4d lift and curl number seven it was on offer it's normally 14.99 it's 11.99 and it's rubbish um <laughs> uh yes yeah, crap sorry but it is i've got hooded eyes as you can see and half of it ended up all there and all smudged around my face and i thought it was just me and then my sister she said oh i've got my uh my new mascara she bought some as well and um yeah she ended up with it <laughs> she got two black eyes so uh yeah rubbish i won't be using this i'm going to be using this one um and i can't read it i don't know if you can read where it is uh my son and his girlfriend actually bought me this with some other makeup for christmas and it's brilliant now when this runs out i'm going to buy some more but this i should be in it really i don't know why i've still kept it 4d my ass <laughs> Anyway, I'll carry on putting my makeup on. So I did end up wiping it off with a baby wipe. And I'm um, basically putting a tiny little bit on with my fingers. And um, it's still a bit patchy look. But um, unless you're right up to my face or unless you zoom in. And at the moment I'm looking in the mirror and without my glasses on. It, it's it's okay, it's passable. Like, you know, but um, I can still see the redness. I'm not blaming the stuff I just thought if I go and get proper colour colour coded colour matched and get some proper that's not the primer that's my eye cream where's the primer gone ah primer's it that's eye cream yeah I got that from um it's another youtuber was saying about this eye cream from super safe it's super cheap and really good so um yeah I've been using that it's only about two creams I just thought everything they say is good I go and buy and it just don't work <laughs> I say um I think I'm going to give primer a miss because although it feels lovely it just doesn't do nothing for me anyway and it's getting to the point where I think I'm going to give foundation a miss, miss even because um can you see any difference because I can't I mean in fairness I've only put a little bit around this area but the bit that I really want covered, it never covers, no matter which one I use. It just don't cover. And I do exfoliate every other day. But I try, oh, I'm still rumbling. I try not to do that too much because obviously the dry skin, like, is sore. But I do use a flannel, you know, them soft flannels, like fleeces. Every time I cleanse my face, I use that. Get rid of the dry skin. I've got a uh, dry, see there? That's a dry patch that I pulled off. So that's a little bit sore but um i don't know what else to do i think i should just stop using foundation all altogether because for years i never used it and i think my skin was all right unless i was just deluded oh you know i mean who said you have to use foundation you don't have to use anything dear do i don't wear makeup to work don't occasionally i wear mascara and even that's once in a blue moon if, I, if I'm up a bit earlier than normal. But like I said, I've got hooded eyes. So sometimes I find the mascara ends up there. I have a nice big black patch there, so that's nice. It's not really. It's bloody annoying. So, um, yeah, like I said, this wasn't a tutorial. I just want to know, um, is it just me? Or does anybody else not be able to put foundation on properly? Because the videos that I've seen on YouTube seem to be young girls who have got flawless skin anyway. So if you've got flawless skin, you're already onto a winner, isn't you? But if you're like middle-aged or past middle-aged, I don't know how they put it on. Unless start, I should start zooming in really and look at the skin properly. But there is one YouTuber I watch, an American woman who does foundation. She checks them all out and... She puts way too much on. And I don't like that look. I don't like looking like I've got foundation on. Although, yeah, what's the point of it then really? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, thank you all for watching. You are all awesome. If you want to give this a video a thumbs up, that would be brilliant. Um, 
I did have a I did do a little short video talking about me um eyebrows because I had my eyes microbladed and it's two years on. Don't know if you can see now because I've put some colour in them. Still got the lines. So uh, I'll link that video below if uh, anyone's thinking about microblading. I'd think twice, unless you know someone who's really really good at it, and not go to some idiot that I did. And <laughs> you know, it it was ridiculous. But um, thank you all for watching. Um, I think I've already said that. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Donna the Brummy. All I do is put up memes. And uh, yeah, if you want to subscribe, that would be brilliant. Okay then. Like I said, this isn't a tutorial. I think you would have got that. But um, any hints, tips or anything you can give me will be greatly appreciated. And I think so, I have got a little bit of dry skin. A little bit. I thought it was greasy, but it's a mixture of combination skin, in it? Anyway, thanks. Bye.